What is VTEC? Come on, man. Who doesn't know what VTEC is? Let me try to explain it in one sentence. It's a system developed to improve the volumetric efficiency of a four-stroke internal combustion engine. Okay, we're done. We can get more technical though, but I'm going to make this video as simple as possible while discussing the technology and the benefits. The VTEC system is used for overhead cam engines in where there is a primary camshaft lobe and a secondary. In this case, both primaries pictured are the same profile and the secondary is larger. Hydraulic oil is sent to the VTEC solenoid and is activated by the engine control unit which pushes a pin to initiate the higher cam lobe. The technology allows you to daily drive with the lower cam profile and have the extra power in the higher RPM range with the larger cam profile. Why would you need VTEC? A typical comparable non-VTEC engine would lose power in the upper RPMs as seen on this dyno chart, 6000 RPMs in this case. A similar VTEC version of this engine would transition at the power drop off point over to the larger cam profile and carry it to the 7500 RPM redline. Overhead cams also help with valve train stability and allows the motor to rev higher. But isn't that variable valve timing? No. This is a common confusion between these two different systems. A few popular examples where VVT is used is the Toyota 1Z ZGE, Subaru FA20D, Mitsubishi 4B11, Ford Coyote, and Chevy LT1 engine. VVT is a different technology that adjusts only the cam timing. It is also hydraulically controlled by a solenoid and doesn't require the higher cam profile of the VTEC system. Let me explain. If you're an old school guy, then you've seen these before. They're adjustable cam sprockets. They are slotted at the locations for cam timing adjustability. Back in those days, you could manually tune these for low end or high end or something in between. Not all. Variable valve timing is the same concept and now a system that's been incorporated into the engine which can automatically adjust the cam sprocket hydraulically depending on the condition and improves low end, mid range and high end drivability while increasing fuel economy and reducing emissions. Variable valve timing can also be used with VTEC in which it even makes the system more advanced. Honda uses it in their iVTEC and Toyota with their VVTLI motors. Back to VTEC, you know what? Let's do something different. Instead of just talking about it, let's go out and do it and see what it looks like. Here's my 2006 Acura TSX, and let me show you the motor. The TSX has the K24A2, which has VTEC on the intake and exhaust valve, and it also has VTC. So let's go see what VTEC looks like. The TSX VTEC engagement is at 6,000 RPM, and Redline is at 7,000 RPM. You can set it lower with aftermarket ECU modifications, but this is just a stock car, so I'd like to keep it that way. I hope that was informational and not too overwhelming. VTEC and VVT are two great technologies which can be applied for many engine applications. They're also better when combined together. Like and subscribe if you found this information useful. I hope to bring more content like this out in the future. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.